to thank Roche for sponsoring this event. It's really a pleasure to share my experience in dementia care in China with you. So as you can see here in the epidemiology studies, the number of patients with dementia increases over the years. That brings a very big challenge of dementia care in China. There's also uh, inadequate knowledge and the poor education of caregivers. The dementia uh, diagnosis in China varies at the different hospital levels. Let me give you a case for example. Uh, so this is a, a patient with memory loss. For past traumatic history, he had a transient ischemic attack in 1994. He also had diabetes, hypertension, and hyperlipidemia. On uh, neurological exam, he had a minimal status score of 29 out of 30. As a, a standard uh, diagnosis uh, procedure, we did an MRI. And as you can see, the red arrow pointed to very mild uh, atrophy. Uh, the white arrow pointed at uh, some small vessel ischemic changes. Because of this relatively uh, rapid progression, we got another MRI. Uh, we also got a PET scan that was positive for uh, amyloid. So over these uh, three years, we did uh, uh, the uh, neuropsychological test. As you can see, there was a rapid decline in CDR in MMSE, uh, DIS. For the uh, first two years, in 2014, 2015, he had a diagnosis of amnestic MCI. Uh, in 2016, he uh, rapidly regressed to probable AD. So there's a, uh, an association between the incidence of dementia and the stroke. There was a community study in a, a population of uh, 90,000 people uh, in Ox Oxfordshire, uh, UK. The incidence of dementia was associated with TIA and the stroke are five times higher than age-matched controls. By comparison, this is study of China's stroke registry three uh, as you can see, the average age is 61 years old. That is 13 years younger than the UK uh, study. And uh, a patient who had a stroke has a male pre predominance of 72%. And uh, uh, in a 12-year follow-up, about 25% of uh, stroke survivors had a cognitive impairment. That is quite high. It means one out of four uh, people who suffered a stroke will have, uh, will have cognitive impairment uh, within 12 months. So there's a heightened risk of dementia in patients who had a, a stroke. So there are several challenges. To meet these challenges, uh, we need to establish memory clinics, for disease-specific and integrated uh, medical management. Uh, <clears throat> it is important to combine all medical resources in one stop, such as uh, the clinics, the neuropsychological evaluation, the imaging facility, the, uh, the biological diagnostic techniques, and the non-drug treatment. That will help to make a standardized uh, diagnosis and the treatment procedure. And uh, recently, uh, Chinese government approved the plans for the professional uh, impairment uh, committee of neurologic branch. That is to uh, have a nationwide program that prepare and train dementia specialists. So uh, in summary, uh, to manage a large population of dementia in China is quite a challenge. Uh, there's a need to share, uh, to ensure all patients have equal access to uh, healthcare. 